Hey everyone, welcome to Free Handly Made AU, My Optistic Life. My name's Nisi, and welcome to my channel, my little quirky side of the world, so to speak. So I have lots going on, um, and um, yeah, a lot of things are changing here at the homestead. Um, but first, um, let me tell you um, what I got in the mail. I got friend mail from Canada. Yes, I did. Miss Bailey. From Mrs. Uh... Hang on. Look at this box, you guys. It's crazy. I had to pre-open it, y'all, because it would have taken me forever to open it on video. And frankly, I was excited. And she's excited because she knows I got my box. So, let's see what she sent me, y'all. Friend mail. Oh, my goodness. So excited about friend mail. Okay. I don't know where to start, Bailey. I'm going to have Bailey's link in the bottom of this box. Um, so you guys can go to her channel because we've been trying to get her to 500. And she's getting close. Um, not close enough, but she, I mean, frankly, she should have been at 500 by now, in my honest opinion. So I want you guys to go over there and I want you guys to go check her out. So let's see what she sent. All right, look at this. Look at look at that gorgeous yarn. <gasps> look at it. Oh, it's so soft and fluffy. So soft. Okay, it is Mary Maxim Super Soft. Um, and let's see. It is a four weight. Um, it is uh, three point five ounces, a hundred grams, three hundred and fifty yards. 72% acrylic and 28% polyester. Um, it's a weight four, like I said, and it says to use a five millimeter hook. So, <clears throat> actually those just show need knitting needles, but I'll just, you know, depending on what I make with this, um, I'll use the hook accordingly. So anyway, oh, what's this color? Hang on. Y'all wanna know the color? I'm sure you guys want it. Where's the color at? Wait, hang on. Uh, hmm. Tonda de Mat... I can't pronounce that. It's Tonda. The color is Tonda. Dialot 2107. So Tonda. Look at those beautiful colors. All right, so um, going around the ball, starting from the top, You've got like this sandy, tannish beach beach sand, like the kind of beach sand you would see like on the west coast off of Oregon or even on the east coast over there by like um, New Jersey Shore, uh, North Carolina. It's that kind of brownie sand. And then you've got this fuchsia pink and then it slowly turns, it goes from the tan into the fuchsia pink and then it goes into a bright purple and then a really nice dark purple and then the purple goes light into a dark blue and then it goes into a light brew blue into a tealish color and then back to the brownish sand color and the yarn itself has um the fuzzies on it yeah, so when you're crocheting with this she already warned me you can frog it but it's difficult to frog because it is major it has major halo on it so <clears throat> i got one two four skeins of this i could probably make ah stop um definitely i'm thinking shaw or maybe poncho maybe poncho definitely shaw or poncho and whoop, I'm going to make it for me to wear. Me. It will be mine. I'm not sending it off to anybody and I'm not selling it. I'm using this yarn to make me something that I will wear during the winter time at work. Yes. So, thank you, Bailey. I love it. It's beautiful. The yarn is absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty. So pretty. I mean, look at that, you guys. All right. So, y'all. I should do a poll. I'll do a picture. There we go. That way I can do a snapshot. And I'll do a poll asking you guys 
what I should make with this yarn. And, and then I was expecting just yarn, right? Because she already told me she was gifting me with yarn. Um, I don't usually enter giveaways. Um, I usually let the giveaways be for others. And I just kind of there to support. So I was really surprised when she's like, I'm sending you yarn. So she, of course, she sent me extra gift, little gift thingies. She sent me some, some candy. Which you know little man's going to get into the stash, right? Bailey, like, I'm, I'll be lucky if I get one piece of this. And then she sent me, be still and know that I'm, oh, it's a purple box. It is a, looks like a glass trinket tray is what the box says. Let's pull the sucker out, shall we? Let's pull it out. Oop, hang on. Oh, Bailey, oh, oh, Bailey, it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Look at this. <gasps> I know it's reversed for you guys, but it's it's gorgeous. This is going to sit right here next to me. And guess what? When I crochet, this is where I'm going to put my wedding ring. That's what this is going to be used for, Bailey. It's going to hold my wedding ring for when I crochet at night. Yep. And then, oh my goodness, Bailey. <laughs> she sent me something else. Gosh, Bailey. <laughs> Bailey sent me this. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted to have this, to bring this with me at work and use this for my, uh, my break time and my lunchtime coffee mug. But it says current mood. Nope. <laughs> I love it. It's hilarious. Current mood. Nope. <laughs> I might have to take that, bring that with me to work and keep it in my, my locker at work. And then she sent me this, which, ooh, it's a scarf. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Ooh, Bailey, I can wear this to work and to church. Look how pretty that is, you guys. It's roses. I can wear this for date night. This is a this is a date night shawl for date night. That's what this is. <laughs> or faculty Christmas party. It's beautiful, Bailey, and I will definitely wear it. And when I do wear it, I'll at least get one picture of me wearing it. So, and I'll send it to you. But yes, this is gorgeous. I love it. And it will definitely be worn. Um, okay. And then she sent me, ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is it? Oh, hang on, she sent me something else. What is it? What is it? What is it? Are these bookmarks? Oh, these are magnetic page markers. So yeah, bookmarkers. And they say, um, be still. Psalms 46.10. And then the other one doesn't have the reference. It just has purple flowers. She knows I love purple. I'm so ate up with purple. And then she sent me this Be Still and Know with the Psalms verse reference of 4610. Bailey, are you trying to tell me something? That's four items now with the with that verse on it. You telling me I need to be still? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Anyway, it's nice because it's it's a little notebook. You can make notes in there, write notes in there. Um, this would be a great little um, little prayer journal I can take with me for our our small group, or um, if I'm on a if I'm watching a live and somebody in the chat is mentioning they need prayer, I can use this as well. I mean, I have a prayer journal, but this this will be handy. So thank you, Bailey. Oh my gosh, Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Oh, you're such, you're so sweet. Oh, I just love everything. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can't wait to show my husband when he wakes up and let him see what my, what my sweet friend from Canada sent me. It's so nice. All right, I'm going to put this over here. 
And I'm going to put this. Ooh, the box almost didn't make it. It looked like it got beat up. <laughs> but everything arrived okay and intact. And my beautiful yarn. My pretty yarn. My pretty yarn. Can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, man, yeah. Can you imagine wearing this around your neck and around your shoulders or just wearing it as a shawl with a long sleeve shirt while you're while you're helping students do their algebra and keeping them focused this right here i could even buy me just here you need you need some sensory calmness here just you can just rub on my shawl <laughs> i might be able to use this as a behavioral tool <laughs> for real i'm being serious all right I'm going to put my yarn in here for just now, but I am going to put it in a special project bag. I just got to go get me a project bag because the ones I have up here are being used at the moment. And then I'm taking out my tray because I'm going to be crocheting tonight and my wedding ring is going right in here. I'm very excited. I was just telling my husband I need to find something to put out here to hold my wedding ring because I keep losing my wedding ring. I keep losing it on the floor and underneath the chair. So now I have something. All right, the other thing I wanted to share. Thank you, Bailey. Oh, my gosh, Bailey. I just, I don't have the words. It has been such a rough several months, and that you just made my whole, my whole several, that first half of the year. <laughs> I mean, that is so, so sweet. So sweet. And I know that shipping was not cheap. You are an amazing human being and I love you and I'm glad that you're in my life and you're one of my sisters in Christ. Um, and you're so encouraging. You're like one of my biggest cheerleaders. One of my biggest supporters. And oh, I just love you so much. Hugs and kisses. I do, Bailey. I love you so much. Um, okay, so I didn't talk about this much because um, you guys know that my husband and I have been very good stewards of our finances here lately, but I had I had ordered this before we knew little man was going to have to have surgery and before we knew how much um, I was going to owe for my hip surgery. And it never made it to my house. It made it to my mailbox and then someone has been stealing um, packages out of our physical address mailbox. And so... I hadn't known that at first, and I emailed Furls, and I'm like, okay, it says it was delivered, but it is not in my mailbox. What do I do? And then I'm like, okay, let me let me just go on their fact sheet and see if there's anything I can do while I'm waiting for them to reply to me. And it said to talk to your post office. So I went to the post office, and that's how I found out that my street was getting hit with um, bandits. Ship, they call it um, shipment pirates, people who steal your mail off your porch or out of your mailbox. And that there was nothing they could do. And I was very heartbroken because there's no way I could reorder the stuff because I got the stuff on sale. I, that's the only reason why I got, I was able to get furls is because it was on sale. So I emailed them and I told them, I said, look, I said, disregard my email. There's, there's nothing that can be done. Um, and I told them that according to the post office, my package, my package and several of my neighbor's packages were apparently stolen out of their mailboxes due to how many reports they got of packages going missing and not being in their mailboxes and that it wasn't their responsibility that somebody stole my package out of my mailbox and that I wasn't going to be able to reorder because I couldn't afford it. Well, within minutes, you guys, Furls emails me back and says, we are going to replace your shipment free of charge. Give us the second address you would like us to ship it to. Because I said in the email originally, you know, if you can, if, if we find out that it's lost, can you ship it to my P.O. box is what I had. I gave her my P.O. At first I said, are you sure with a whole bunch of exclamation points? Because, and then I said, because this is not y'all's responsibility. But if you are willing to send me a replacement free of charge, this is my P.O. box. She emails me back and she said, we are absolutely sure we'd be more than happy to do this for you. And your order has been um, been placed and you should get an email within a day or two saying this shipment has gone out. This email was last week, you guys. This shipment arrived to me in less than a week's time. That's how fast they were. So thank you, Furls. Y'all rock. I don't know any company that would do what you guys did for me. So 
the reason why I was heartbroken is because I'm not a Zodiac person. I'm just going to admit to you that right now. But they had hooks in each of my children's birth, birth dates. Um, so my youngest daughter and my son are both, um, are both Pisces. And um, I think it's funny that they both share the same zodiac. They're both Pisces. So I had to look it up. <laughs> All right. So my son and my youngest daughter are both, are both Pisces. So I got, and all of these are um, six millimeters because I use, I tend to use six millimeters a lot, six millimeter a lot when I do uh, shawls or hats or scarves or blankets. Um, so that's why I chose six millimeter. So look how beautiful that is. That's Pisces. Look how gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's Pisces. And um, my daughter was born February 28th and my son was born March 8th. So that's why they're both, they both fall in that Pisces window. Then my oldest daughter is a Virgo. Look, and for you green lovers, you're going to love this. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Look at that hook, you guys. So that represents my oldest daughter. And I hope my girls watch this video. I'm going to be um, sending them a link to this video so they'll see it. So that's my oldest daughter. And then my grandson is an Aries. Oops, wrong box. <laughs> my grandson is an Aries. And look how gorgeous that color is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I couldn't get the sign for my granddaughter because they haven't come out with the hook yet. And they haven't come out with the hook for my, for my zodiac sign. I'm a Sagittarius. Um, and... So I will be waiting patiently for the uh, for the other zodiac signs to come out, and when they do, I will be getting a six millimeter hook um, that represents my granddaughter, and then of course, mine, Sagittarius. <laughs> so, furls, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> that you guys have gone above and beyond. This was not your responsibility. I don't know any company that would have done what you guys did and i wanted to make sure that i did a video and included you in this box opening to tell you thank you one more thing to show you guys um i was waiting to open this box until my other order my other hooks came in because i wanted to just do them all at the same time and just so you guys know all of these hooks were on sale. One of them I got through Ola Joe, the crocheting, crocheting sailors coupon, which is the one I'm fixing to show you now. The other coupon I got for the Zodiac signs, I got that coupon because I was on Furls' uh, live, live stream, and they, they gave the coupon code in the live chat. So if you guys don't watch Furl's live streams, you're missing out. They do coupons in there every once in a while and they do giveaways every once in a while. So you all need to start visiting. Anyway, even with both coupons, all of these were purchased using Ola Joe's affiliate link. That's right. I need to keep my receipt because I will be using these for commission projects, which means tax deductible, y'all. All right. Now y'all know I'm doing chemo, chemo hats and I wanted a pink hook to do them in. But I realized that I needed more than just a six millimeter hook, depending on what yarn I use because I did get some yarn is a three weight, not a four weight. I'm like, mm, six millimeter hook's not going to work for this yarn. And then I do have some yarn that I'm going to use that are four weight, but it's a light four. And I'm still thinking, mm, no, that's not going to work. So I got 
two more of the Polaris hooks for my cancer projects. And I'm gonna be doing some cancer lap gans. So some of the yarn I'm gonna be using may be thicker, like a five weight. So I went ahead and got me a 6.5 millimeter hook, Polaris hook. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love the color. I love it. It just screams, fight like a girl. Ugh. Kick cancer's butt. Yes. And then I got my third hook. Oh, it's so pretty. And this one is a 5.5. Now, I, I don't usually use less than a 5.5, even with a, a, a three weight yarn, because um, I'm a tight crocheter. So, um, even though some of the hat patterns say to use a five millimeter, I always have to go up a half a hook size because y'all know I do amigurumi. So y'all know I'm a tight crocheter because you got to be a tight crocheter to do amigurumis and be successful at it. <laughs> so I got me a 5.5. So I have a 5.5, I have a 6, and I have a 6.5. Those are all the three hooks I need to do all of my cancer charity projects. Yes, yes, yes. So Thank you, Ola Joe, for your affiliate link, and thank you for the coupon for these, because I got, I bought one, I got one free. And, um, and then, thank you, Furls, for your live stream, because I bought two and got one free on those, which was a great deal. Oh, and I had a um, $2 uh, rewards that I was able to use on my zodiac um, on my zodiac order and then on top of that coupon for the rewards i earned i got these free shipping what and a coupon and i got a hook free yeah i made out like a bandit so you can see why i was upset when i found out my package got stolen on my mailbox and then and then, so listen y'all so i got my job i had my job interview on thursday then i heard from furls that they were going to replace my shipment aim anyway I was like, what? And then I went through the weekend and um, today I had to have a second mammogram done and an ultrasound done because they thought they found a spot. They found a, a spot that they were concerned about and they wanted to make sure I didn't have breast cancer. And good news is it's just cyst. Not a problem. I don't have to see them again till next year. So that was a blessing. And then on my way to get my ultrasound and my mammogram, is when I heard from the prince, I emailed her. I'm like, hey, I didn't hear from you Thursday afternoon. I didn't hear from you, or um, I didn't hear from you um, Wednesday afternoon. I didn't hear from you Thursday morning, just touching base, what's going on with the physician. And um, while I was on my way into that appointment, I got the email that they wanted to hire me. <sighs> yeah. So the last four days, and then today, my box from Bailey shows up. <laughs> And then my Zodiac hooks show up today. So I've had a very blessed, blessed, exciting, happy, happy last four days. Yeah. So um, God is good, man. Um, he's really spoiled me this week. He really has. I think it's because I know my job's going to be tough. <laughs> the job I took is not for the faint of heart. Um, I'm, I'm working in special ed education and... It's definitely something you need to be called to do. Um, you definitely don't do that job for the money. You definitely don't. Um, so I just feel like, I don't know, it feels like my birthday or Christmas or something. Anyway, uh, real quick, what I'm working on now, I'm done with pumpkins. <laughs> Unless I get a, com a, a commissioned order, I'm not going to make pumpkins and just throw them up for sale ever again. I will do pumpkins on commission order only just because of what I just went through and still going through right now and getting these sold. Um, I love making them, but I don't need this many pumpkins in my house. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm do starting on now is my first round of military beanies. Let me pull this so I can show you. Um, and this one is, um, I'm starting this one for my cousin. I'm making him a brown one and a black one. And um, and he, he still hasn't gotten a hold of me of how many more to make for his other friends. So I need to get back in touch with him and be like, hey, dude, I need a number. <laughs> um, and then... Um, I'll be starting on the ones to send to Beanies for Bravery um, to that address. Um, I have until the end of January 
but um, I'll be making these um, and I'm just gonna see how many I can make I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a, a, a t uh, an amount on myself because then I'll be disappointed if I don't reach that goal I'm just gonna do as many as I can um, and because I'm also doing my chemo hats and October is literally just two weeks away <sighs> Um, so I need to get started on those and I'm doing hat not hate So I'm doing three different types of um, hat charity charities um, So I'm, I'm gonna be quite busy with doing that and then um, I'm doing my uncle's blanket And I think I'm still going to do the um, uh, was it the head stitch? I can't remember what I said. I think it was the head stitch or something like that. I was thinking maybe the plaid stitch, but I haven't, I'm still trying to decide you guys. I'm still trying to decide. Uh, so I need to start on my uncle's blanket cause I want, I want to get that done by Christmas. Um, and then I'm going to start on something for me. I'm going to make myself a shawl, something I can wear to work. Cause this, it gets cold here in Montana. I'm going to be outside for part of the time because I have to go outside from the middle school building to the high school building and it's a short walk guarantee it's a short walk but uh it can get you know in the negative degrees here <laughs> and I don't know how cold and drafty the buildings are so I want to make myself a shawl for work and maybe even a poncho but anyway so yeah I got a lot going on and my crocheting time now is cut drastically smaller because as you all know I'm working full time now starting tomorrow um, and I'll be working from the time I drop a little man off until the time he gets out of school and then we come home. So I have Monday through Thursday, I have the evenings to crochet while, you know, I'm taking care of my boys and making this dinner and whatnot. And then I'll have Friday and Saturday and Sunday off from work. So Friday and Saturday and Sundays will probably be heavy duty crochet time. <laughs> Besides church. <laughs> So life here is going to be a little different. That means a lot of you guys who are used to seeing me all day during the daytime, hanging out with y'all in your live chats, you're not going to see me. I won't even get to listen to you while I'm at work because I'm going to be with students and, and helping teachers. So um, I'll have to do a lot of replays. What's that old, what's that saying that Melissa says, charge it, charge it to my head, not to my heart. Just know that I love you guys and I'm going to miss you guys. This is something that I just need to do for, for myself, for one, and for my son and for my husband. And I promised my son and I promised my husband that if I did go back to the workplace, it wouldn't be the same career that I was in. It wouldn't be a supervisory position and it would totally work with my son's schedule. I would still be able to pick, take him to school and I would still be able to pick him up and bring him home. And this position just fell in my lap. Something I've been praying about and asking God for now for over a year. And it just, oh man, it just fell in my lap and it was like boom, boom, boom. Um, so even though originally I didn't think I got it, she, um, she had my phone number wrong. She transposed the number. So she was glad that I emailed her this morning. So, um, and I know you guys will be supportive. You guys will understand. But, but you know, I'll be lurking in some evening lives. Um, and I'll definitely try to say hi. Um, I may um, not be able to chat in the chat much because I may be going back and forth from my laptop to cooking and whatnot. But but you'll see me in the evenings. And you'll definitely see me on Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturdays. Um, you don't get to see me much on Sundays because I'm really busy usually on Sundays. Um, Sometimes you can see me on Sunday nights, but it's not often. So my time on YouTube is going to be severely taking a hit. <laughs> but just during the school year, during the summertime, I'll have all the time in the world because I'll have summer, summers off. I'll just be busy with little man, but that's okay. Um, I was on I was on the YouTube streets when a little man was here home with me during the summer, and it'll be the same. So that's what's going on over here at Nisi's place. <laughs> I just wanted to share all that with you in one video and let you guys know I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, wait, hang on. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Look, so you guys know that one time I put in my community tab, I was having a hard time um, wanting to get out and, and be with the three-dimensional people and, and make it to my guild meeting. Well, I made it. I did go. 
Um, it was a crowded, more crowded than normal, and that did make me feel a little uneasy, but I found a corner chair where I wasn't like feeling like a sardine can, so I did okay. And I got eight rows done on my daughter's uh, second beach panel, her beach dress panel. It's coming out gorgeous. Now, this will be longer once I block it. I know it looks small right now, but it, it's gonna get it's gonna get three inches longer once I block it, according to the instructions. Um, but I got eight rows done, and I have hang on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I have 13 more shells to do. So that is, or no, I have five more shells to do. So that's five rows and plus five more rows for the in-between rows. So I have 10 more rows to go. And then I start sewing it together. And then the last bit is just to do the collar, to crochet the collar. And then the last thing to do is crocheting the, um, uh, the border, the bottom border. So I think this is going to get done before Christmas, way before Christmas, you guys, because I go to the, the yarn um, guild meeting every Friday. So, and um, this, this is specifically saved for my Fridays um, so I can be there in case I need help. Um, I get free, free uh, tutorial help um, support from the president of the guild. So, so that's that. All right. That's my whips. I have no finished objects that you guys have not seen already. Um, so I'm going to sign off, you guys. Um, oh, my goodness. So between all of this and then between Elizabeth blessing our family um, with her gift, y'all, it's it's a, it's overwhelming. Um, the love that I feel and the joy that I feel, feel from you guys and all the major encouraging words when y'all knew that I, that I got the interview and, and, and the cheers and the we'll call the school district and tell them to hire you because um, that was Angie from My Precious Yarnery. She's so funny. She made me laugh. Um, and then Spring and Bailey and Cindy and Melissa and just Tank and all y'all. You guys, y'all are like my family. You're my, you're my Yarny family and, and y'all... You guys are amazing. And my dog is wanting my attention and she's jealous. <laughs> but you guys are. You guys are amazing. And when you guys knew that little man was having his, his oral surgery, you guys all prayed over him. You prayed over me and my husband. And you guys are amazing. You just, you guys are. You're so amazing. Um, and I love each and every one of you. And oh my gosh, I've got, I've got YouTube family over on the homesteading side. Um, in the prepper side, there's the vineyard chicks and there's TJ, um, here comes TJ and then there's trust and lake, lake fairy and, 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 um, uh, uh, oh goodness, um, Angie from giggles and, and there's Lee and her husband from Lazarus Homestead and I'm wearing their shirt. I actually wore this shirt to go do my paper, my new hire paperwork today. Um, and Sandra and and shift kicker and I mean the list goes on and on and on and on of how, of of all y'all that are just there for me just cheering me on and and giving me support and saying hi and let and, and loving on me I just can't I can't thank everybody enough I just can't thank everybody enough you guys are amazing <sighs> Y'all are amazing people. All right, let me get off of here. I've done flubbered and jibber jabbered enough. <laughs> got all got all mushy lovey dovey enough on this thing. <laughs> so thank you guys. Um, I do plan on going live this weekend um, for porch talk with Nisi, and then the following weekend will be chapter two in Hebrews for the devotional. Um, that's how I kind of have things planned. It's going to be Friday morning at 8 a.m. is the tentative time and, and day as of right now. If something changes, um, I'll be posting any changes to that in the community tab. So, um, and I always have the pre-announcement for the live um, set up on the home tab of my channel. So you can click the remind me button or the set notification button or notify me button, whatever that button is. So you guys can keep a lookout for that. In the meantime, I will see you guys somewhere around the YouTube streets. Y'all take care. Have an awesome week. I love you guys so much. 
Bye, everybody. And always remember, dare to be you, dare to be different. Love from Montana. Bye.